free energy, hidden innovations, and a future in the past. If someone asks you who Nikola Tesla is, tell them these three phrases. The story that you've never heard before. On a stormy night in 1856, Tesla was born in Croatia to Serbian parents. It was a harsh night, thunder and lightning struck with great might and power. Midway through the birth, the midwife declared the lightning a bad omen. She said and lamented, This child will be a child of darkness. Tesla's mother swiftly replied, No, he will be a child of light. Tesla's father wanted him to enter the priesthood as a profession while the boy loved physics and calculus. As a teenager, Tesla contracted cholera. He was bedridden for nine months near death multiple times. Despairing, Tesla's father promised to send him to engineering school if he recovered from the illness. Nikola's wish became true. Days passed quickly and Tesla grew up to attend an engineering school where he demonstrated the ability to solve complex mathematical problems, to the point that his teachers accused him of cheating. His calculations were accurate to an indescribable degree. Tesla says in his meetings and memoirs that the disease made him see things from the future, and his mind was drawing innovations that didn't exist at the time. Although he was an outstanding student, he eventually withdrew from the polytechnic school. He decided to move to Paris and unfortunately ended up working for the Continental Edison Company in 1882. He got employed repairing direct current power plants and discovering technical problems that caused a major failure, in which senior engineers were unable to identify. The company's board of directors offered a sum of $25,000 to those who could determine this malfunction. And surprisingly, Nikola wasn't only able to discover it, but also repaired it. But the company declined to fulfill its promises, and Tesla was subjected to intellectual embezzlement and immediately resigned. He moved later to the USA and arrived in New York in 1884. He went straight to the Manhattan headquarters of Thomas Edison's business. Unlike Tesla, Edison was very lucky to meet with him. Edison wagered Tesla that if Tesla could improve the design for his direct current dynamos, he would give him $50,000. And once again, the ambitious young Tesla stepped up, coming up with an excellent solution. And he solved the problem after several months of hard work and experimentation. And when he demanded the promised prize, Edison demurred and told him something he'd never forget for the rest of his life. Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. Tesla left the company soon after. In the harshest moments of life, Tesla, the most powerful mind of his time, was forced to beg, sleep on the streets, and work for wages to secure his livelihood, and for a whole year. But during this period, he made a major discovery in electricity field. During the time that Tesla spent in Edison's plants, he found that the direct current method of electricity was ineffective. So he drew a mental picture of a generator that generates alternating current electricity. The difference between the two is that direct current generates electricity for a distance of a mile and a half. So a new generator should be placed at each point of this distance. While generating electricity with alternating current, one generator is enough to light an entire city. And this idea will change the life of humanity completely, but it needed a financer to implement it. Tesla was able to develop a good relationship with two businessmen, which was a reason for establishing the Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing Company in 1884. But for the third time in a row, Nikola was being scammed. His partners decided that they want to focus entirely on electricity supply services. They took the company's intellectual property and patents and established another company in 1886. And that left Tesla with nothing. 
and despite all that, he didn't despair. In 1887, Tesla met two investors, and a year later, he obtained his first two patents for alternating current. And then war of currents began between Edison, owner of direct current, and Tesla, owner of alternating current. At the time, George Westinghouse, owner of Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company, backed Nicholas alternating current, although direct was more widespread. But he chose the alternating current because of his desire to transmit electric power over a long distance. And the conflict between Edison's direct current and Westinghouse's alternating current led to undermining both of their products' prices. This prompted Westinghouse to apply to Tesla to sell all of his patents for $60,000, in addition to paying royalties of $2.50 per horsepower of electrical capacity sold, which Tesla immediately agreed to and that started a whole new era in his life. Edison felt that his dominance era in field of electric power was coming to an end. Tesla's generators for alternating electricity ushered the world into a new era of sustainable energy. Edison resorted to filing a lawsuit against Tesla claiming that he infringed his patents, but he easily lost because Tesla's inventions were original, innovative, and new to the world. After Edison's defeat, he resorted to launching a media war to distort Tesla and destroy his invention's value. He even stole many of them. Nevertheless, Tesla managed to win War of Currents little by little. In 1893, Chicago City hosted the World's Columbian Exposition, and Nikola had a huge platform at the fair to show the advantages of alternating current, and he managed to light up the whole fair with more light bulbs than could be found in the whole city of Chicago. He also dazzled the audience with a variety of electrical wonders, including lamps that illuminate without needing to be connected to copper wires, artificial lightning, and a current flowing with millions of volts through his body. It was a resounding success and an unprecedented show, so he was called man of the future, and Tesla's innovations far outstripped Edison's. Edison couldn't bear this reality. On March 13, in 1895, Tesla's office was burned down along with all of his patents, many of which were later attributed to Edison. The past 10 years' work was lost, leading to Tesla's complete bankruptcy. After this incident, everyone expected Tesla's collapse. But in only half a year, he managed to retrieve most of his inventions from his unique memory and was able to stand on his feet again. Later, Nikola helped Westinghouse win a contract to generate electric power in Niagara Falls, helping to build the world's first large-scale electric power plant. And he was able to get a hundred thousand US dollars, so he was able to set up his scientific laboratory. At that time, he innovated a mechanical indicator for the purposes of selective resonance. But this innovation later became one of the secret weapons of the great nations. This innovation generated a constant and unified current that led to great vibrations in the building itself, which soon spread to large areas and was enough to destroy Brooklyn Bridge in just a couple of minutes. Surprisingly, on the same day and time of the experiment, specifically in 1898, an oceanic earthquake occurred around the area. Did Tesla's innovation have anything to do with it, or is it just a coincidence? Edison no longer had a voice in front of Tesla Sparkle, who turned his aim towards studying the charged atmosphere and making use of lightning strikes to generate electricity. In 1899, he headed towards Colorado Springs, which were located in an open area with great climatic fluctuations. Tesla built his famous laboratory and he built a giant electrical transformer with low and high poles in which he can store electric lightning and generate millions of volts with a frequency of up to 150,000 hertz. And that's how Tesla came up with generating free wireless electricity and he verified this by placing bulbs in the ground. 
By lightning striking the laboratory's receiver, he was able to convert this energy to three times and the result was greater than expected. Where all the city bulbs became wirelessly lit hundreds of kilometers away. After this experiment, Tesla came up with wireless transmission of free electric current. And he said that this system not only distributes electricity around the world, but also provides wireless communications. In 1901, Tesla persuaded an investor to invest in building a tower in the American city of Long Island. And he said that through this tower, he would provide the world with electricity. However, his dream didn't come true and during the initial trials he was unable to convince the financiers of the possibility of realizing the idea. And soon the funding was withdrawn because this project completely means huge financial losses estimated at billions of dollars annually. Because then all world's population will enjoy free electricity without even paying a single penny. As Tesla's habit of not giving up, in 1905 he purchased a plot of land with the support of a financing company in Long Island and built the Warden Sleeve Project, a copper transmitter that acts as a sound amplifier but amplifies electric current to millions of volts based on inner resonance of ionosphere. And indeed, Tesla experimented the project and was able to illuminate the sky for thousands of kilometers. But the financing company rejected this project as well and stopped the support immediately. And the tower that was to mark the beginning of free electricity was closed for the second time. After this incident, Tesla decided to test a very dangerous experiment that he carried out in 1908, which is sending electrical energy through the ionic layer to become an artificial lightning weapon. And in order to avoid any loss of life, he did the experiment in eastern Siberia, specifically in Tunguska, and succeeded in passing a giant charge of energy in form of lightning to explode there. And half of the northern region's residents saw the light generated by the process. This experiment was one of Tesla's most confidential and hidden experiments as he was forced to sign an agreement to conceal this incident and it was announced at the time that a giant meteor had struck Tunguska and the story was hidden for more than 50 years at which time Tesla was placed under the supervision of international intelligence. This experiment was the official start of climate manipulation or what's known today as Project Harp, which some simple people believe is just a theory that doesn't exist. The simple principle on which it depends is agitation of ionosphere layers. By the way, this wasn't the only one, as there's also Tesla's death ray. A directed energy weapon, which he named Teleforce, and he described the invention thusly. The nozzle would send concentrated beams of particles through the free air of such tremendous energy that they will bring down a fleet of 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 200 miles from a defending nation's border. And what you may not know is that Tesla hated war, so he hid many innovations for fear of using them in military matters. Later, after this experiment, the Italian scientist Marconi received Nobel Prize for developing the radio based on Tesla's research in wireless communications. Tesla filed a lawsuit for infringement of his patents, but the court ruled that this lawsuit was invalid. So Tesla lost another battle in his life and a new theft of his ideas. Frustrated after many of his inventions were stolen, he performed in Madison Square Garden a wonderful demonstration of boat wireless control. It was an astonishing innovation, so amazing that many people called it a hoax at the time. And instead of looks of praise and admiration, Nikola was denounced, even described as dealing with evil spirits. He then developed an electric motor that would allow cars to run without fuel. But this idea was also directed very strictly because it would cause great losses to diesel stations. And here Tesla decided to be alone with himself in his own laboratory. 
After all these innovations, if you think that Tesla has reached the end of his ideas, you should know that it's only the beginning. Because what's to come is big, strange and unbelievable. Here we come to the end of the first part of Tesla's story. We'll return to you in the second part soon and we'll reveal to you the rest of his fictional innovations. With teleportation, concealment of ships, Einstein's secret experiment in Philadelphia with climate war and the three American incidents. We'll tell you the story of his communication with other lands and what happened to him at the end of his life before his mysterious disappearance. We'll bring you all this and more soon, so stay tuned.